When you hit a crossroad in life, whether it's with family, work, or friends, it's hard not to overthink the situation. Well, give yourself a break and let our girl Tamara help. She's always got the best advice. I know, because she always giving it to me. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote in with your dilemmas, and right now, it's time for Tamara's Take. <laughs> because she gives me advice too, Lonnie. Okay. Okay, so our first story comes from Jasmine in okay. Parlier, California, who watches us on CWKRFE59. Hey. Ah. Okay, so she writes, Hi, Tamara. In 2014, God gave me the best blessing ever, my son. He is now two and a half years old. I can't go anywhere without him. My friends are always asking me to go out with them to bars, and I just don't feel like that's me anymore. I feel like if I go out without my son, I'm a bad mother and being irresponsible. I'm worried that people will judge me if I leave him to go out with my friends. Mm. I also worry that he'll feel alone or miss me if I do decide to go out. I know I'm more attached to him than he is to me. Am I wrong for not wanting to leave my son? Tamara, what's your take? Okay, I'm gonna speak from personal experience. Yeah. Okay. I can't believe I'm saying this, Ooh. but girl, <laughs> you do need to get out more. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. Yes, okay. I had to go through this. You giving yourself some me time is actually being a wonderful mom. Mm. You're just giving your life some balance. You're having fun while at the same time teaching your baby boy some independence. Wow. It's a win-win yeah. situation for yeah. both of them. Yeah. Yeah. You want to give attention to the other areas of your life. You are a mother, yes, and you're a great mother at that. But you are also a friend, a sister, a wife, etc. But don't forget about you! Yeah. Do you have to go to a bar? No, that's not your thing anymore. But go out nonetheless. Go to a restaurant with your friends. Go hiking. Trust me, you'll thank yourself later. That was awesome. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes. come that's through awesome. with them. And I had to learn that. Well Thank said, you. Tamara. She can go out with me. I'll tell her. I'm Shoot, well, I will I'm have like drinks bars. with you, girl. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our next story is from Christy in Ravina, Ohio, who watches us on Fox 8. She writes, hello, Tamara. Okay. I need some advice. Recently, I've had some health issues, and when I told my best friend of 12 years about my diagnosis, she has started to back away from our friendship. We are not as close as we used to be. I've always been by her side with everything she's been through, but now that I've been dealing with my own health issues, she hasn't been around or checked oh. in to see how I've been feeling. I've tried texting and calling her, but she's hardly ever replies. Ooh. I love her to death and she's like a sister I've never had, but my feelings are hurt that she hasn't stayed in contact during this rough time. What's your take on the situation, Tamara? Okay, now this is a tricky situation because I don't have all the details. Yeah. And sometimes people don't really know how to handle these kinds of situations. Mm -hmm. mm. So it could be a little bit, you know, difficult for them. So what I would say is reach out to her one more time, you know, just speak from your heart. And if she doesn't respond then, then you have your answer. It could also be, and this is why I think it's very important who you let inside your inner circle of friendship. Not everyone who says they are your friend is your friend. Oh. Uh -huh. so it's so true. true. And it sounds like your relationship may have been one-sided for a while. Mm. Some people hang out with you only when things are going well because they want to reap your benefits, wow. your blessings. Preach. Mm -hmm. Others oh gosh, only yeah. want to hang out with you when you are struggling because their misery loves your company. Oh. Wow. A true friend, though, will be there in all times, through thick and thin. They celebrate when you celebrate. They cry when you cry. So if your friend wants to walk out, let her walk out. She was never your friend in the first place. Bye, Felicia, and don't let the door hit you on the way out. Bye. Did Bye, she say Felicia? Bye, Felicia. She did. Yeah. It's, it's, it's rubbing off on her. Tam, Tam, Tam. Okay, Tam Tam, that yes. was some great advice. Even I feel better. That was great advice. Really? Yes. Yeah. And we want to thank our fans for being so open and sharing their stories. Now, if you need Tam Tam's help with a situation, complication, or even just some ventilation, <laughs> go to thereal.com and submit your story.